Hello, this is Marcus Lee, and I'll be doing Wylock Lesson 27 for 7th grade math. Okay, we're learning something new today with the variables. Um, it says, evaluate the expression if x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals 4. So these are our variables, and the question defines them for us. So basically what we have to do is we have to substitute the value of the variable in to our expression whenever, we, whenever the variable appears. For example, if we have 3x plus y plus 2z, we want to do 3, and what's our value of x? It's 2. So we want to do 3 times 2 plus the value of y, which is 3, plus 2 times, what's the value of z? 4. And now when we all do this together, we get 6 plus 3 plus 8. That should be 17, if I've done my addition correctly. And then here we have 4z plus 3x. Let me scroll up so we can see our values again. 4z, 4 times 4, plus 3x, 3 times 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 6 is 22. And we don't, we don't see a y here, so we don't substitute it in, in this problem. Okay, second page, we're going to go by pretty fast. Um, the previous couple lessons, we've done square roots, and we'll just do this one for a recap. Uh, when we're doing square roots, we make sure that what's inside is either a complete or perfect square, and if it's not, then you take the factors of it, and this 81 happens to be a, per, uh, a complete square, which is equal to 9. Okay, page 3. Solve quadratic equations by completing the square. So what it tells us right here in green is gives us a little hint. So when we look at this uh, equation, x squared plus 5x plus c, c represents any, like, it's supposed to m represent a constant. So it could be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. But the constant basically means that it's not it's not like the coefficient of x it's not next to anything so what this tells us up here is x squared plus bx plus b divided by 2 that whole thing squared is equal to x plus b over 2 squ the quantity squared so the directions say solve quadratic equations by completing the square now, what completing the square essentially means is we have to find c, and then we have to kind of simplify our equation. So if we follow this, in this situation, f uh, our b value is 5. So when if we do this off to the side, we could do 5 divided by 2, that squared. If you, if you look at what I'm using right here for reference, that's going to be 25 over 4. So x plus x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4. And I, I'm not sure if you need to write this, but c, uh, you could write c is equal to this. So c is equal to 25 over 4. And then if you look at this part right here, the one I've underlined, we do x plus b over 2, that entire thing squared. So we have x plus, what's our b value? 5. 5 divided by 2, this entire thing squared. Pretty simple. Alright, moving on. We have x squared plus 8x plus c. Now obviously we're trying to find what c equals, but to do, that, to do so we need to know what our b value is, and our b value is 8 in this problem. So if we work down here, if you don't mind, because I don't have much space, c is equal to 8 divided by 2, this whole thing squared. And instead of squaring top and bottom, we could simplify what's in the f uh, parentheses first, which is 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then we can square it, which is 16. c is equal to 16. So we have x, plus x squared plus 8x plus 16, and that is the same thing as x plus 4, the quantity squared. And then we have a minus this time. 
x squared minus 12x plus c. Now, what what is this negative going to do uh, in terms of our c? Well, it's actually not going to do anything. Because if you remember, our b value is negative 12. So if we do negative 12 on top divided by 2 squared, negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. But when we square it, the negative will not matter. So we'll get 36 is equal to c x squared minus 12x plus 36. And when we simplify this, this should be x plus 6, or, whoops, x minus 6 squared. Now, lastly, we are doing number 10. Same thing. We have x squared plus 6x plus c. Now, what does c equal? c is equal to b, which is 6, divided by 2, squ uh, not, whoops, squared. So c is equal to 3 squared, which is 9, x squared plus 6x plus 9, and this will simplify to x plus 3, the entire thing squared. So, not that difficult, what we learned today. Um, it was a pretty quick lesson. I hope it was helpful, and thank you for watching.